Welcome in everybody. Before we get in this morning's update, I want to go over a quick overview of what's going on. First, we've got Bitcoin sitting right around 29,275. We've got XRP sitting at the 0.4628 level. So we're going to see what we have to do if we're going to continue a little bit of a rally here on a thinly traded weekend. Or if we're going to have a little bit of a pullback here on Bitcoin, XRP, now that we fail to move up to the next level. So we'll take a very close look this morning at the XRP and Bitcoin chart. And then we'll take a look at the total crypto market cap. Because it's very important on this thinly traded weekend here on the Saturday morning to start to push uh, either out of this area or we're going to start to slowly find ourselves slipping back down. Make sure to hit that like button as it greatly helps push me through the analytics. And I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Hit that motherfucking like button. Good morning, 8.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, May 6th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. As we can see, we'll take a look first at the total crypto market cap on this uh, early Saturday morning. So we have 1.168 trillion on 1.29% in the last uh, roughly 12 hours. So what's going on with the total crypto market cap? So if we take this in the 30 minute time frame, we got rejected at the 1.18 trillion, 1.118 trillion, or 1.188 trillion. So if we can't get back above that, we have a bearish cross that is forming now here in the uh, 30 minute time frame. And now our next thing we're gonna look at is first, a rejection at 1.174, or a breakdown through 1.163, and it will bring us back down to the 1.139. Um, on a thinly traded weekend, we're in the immediate short term. If you want to break up out of here, you're going to want to continue pushing out of this uh, formation. We do have a golden cross that finished in the four-hour time frame, but this has just kind of been consolidating. The one thing that concerns me is in the daily time frame, if we do lose this formation and you see us below 1.159, we should be trending to the 1.139. So if we're gonna if we're gonna make any kind of rally here, especially on the semi trade week, and we're gonna want to move up now. So, but right now it's starting to flip here in these markets a little bearish because we haven't been able to push out of the areas. So if we're gonna make a further run, we might have a consolidation right now. Um, if we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is sitting at 29,240. Or 287 down 0.88% or 260 points. And if we look at Bitcoin, it's very easy. We'll take a look at two charts. One, we're on top of this little formation. We still remain on top of this 28,800. It's now 28,008. Yeah, 28,800, I still like. And then we have resistance up here at 30,000. We're trying to see what breaks first, but right now it still looks like it's set up for a drop. But as long as we're on top of that 28,800, we've still got a chance within this formation to continue pushing out to that 32,000 or 32,800, possibly that 33,938. But we would have to continue up and eventually break out of that 31,000. The first sign that we are increasing on this bullishness would be to be over 30,000 on this thinly traded weekend and hold that support. A sign that we're not entirely short term bullish especially flipping short-term bearish is if we get back under that 28,800. You fall back within that little channel, that's going to be a big problem. Um, and then if we look at the other Bitcoin chart, we're stuck between these levels. So we're, we got 28,643. I have these support resistance levels right here, but it's easier to tell on this chart because we are, in fact, at the backside of this channel. It's tightening up. And we're going to have to make a decision here in the immediate short term whether or not we can hold 28,800 or we're going to break 30,000 and continue pushing up. So watch that on the thinly traded weekend. And finally, XRP, 0.4625. XRP is down 1.09% or on this Saturday morning on the thinly traded weekend. I got to hurry up with this update because I'm going to the farmer's market. So I got to get all my stuff done. Um, 
So, but I wanted to do this update first. So 0 0.4751 for XRP, it's simple. In the daily time frame, if we don't break over 4751 in the immediate short term, this topping reversal pattern is going to continue on and this is going to act as a right shoulder and we're going to get rejected. And if we do get rejected here again, we're going to have a bearish cross in the daily and that's going to be very bearish. So we need to pay attention to this. XRP needs to get over 475 if you don't want it to drop farther. If you see us get rejected at all this weekend around the 475 level, 474, and then push back down, that's going to be very bearish. And we'll head our way towards 44 cents. And ultimately, I believe we're trending towards the 0.422 level. Assuming we can't break out of this level. Nobody says we can't break out. But if we continue to break down, that would be the most likely area that we end up finding ourselves in. In the two-hour time frame, to start the weekend, we had a bullish cross here. So let's see if we can finish off in a thinly traded weekend and try to move up to that 475 and or... Get a double rejection here at 4, 47 cents, 471. We already came up here yesterday, so it's not 100% guaranteed we even need to go up there. But this is looking very bearish very quickly. But it is a thinly traded weekend, so let's see if any volume comes in to push us to that 475 level. Otherwise, if this negative volume continues to come in, we're going to trend down to this 44 cent level and ultimately attempt to go back in that breakout point of that descending triangle. So that's what we don't want to retest at 422. And if we do, we certainly don't want to fall into it. And if we do, there's a couple other looks at this. We have a rejection up here at 474, but if we break through that, we could possibly try to push that 494 level, but it's not looking great because if you continue to break down, it's not just the 422 level that you're looking at, at firmly in the face. We've got this 398 level at the bottom of this descending triangle. And that's the first layer. If you fall below that, you could definitely fall back to 35 cents because that's the true pattern formation. And then if it got worse and we started breaking down, it would you could find yourself down at 18 cents, if not worse. But this is the true line right here. Top side of this, you could stay short-term bullish to try to push 494. Bottom side, your short-term bear is trying to push the 422. This is literally the key to it all. 462, ladies and gentlemen. Mark this in your on your notes, take a picture of this. If you're watching XRP, this 462 pivot level, and this is an uptrending resistance support line that comes from previous parts of the pattern, this is literally going to tell us it all with XRP. We can look at all the mumbo jumbo. We can look at everything else I just showed you, or we can simply keep it very simple, very basic, and look at this exact formation. This 462 level, if this does not break to the top side, this is a very big rejection on this pivot level, and it will end up bringing us down to 44 cents, 422, retesting that descending triangle. And if we fall back into the formation, all hell can break loose. Now, conversely, if we hold this on a thinly traded weekend, I see no reason why we won't come up to the 494 level. So pay very close attention to that. If you're looking to find a way to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, whether in the USA or abroad, I've got two great options for you in the video description below and or pinned comments. I've got Mexi and or Bitga. You can futures trade up to 250X buying or selling, which means you can, I mean, uh, longing or shorting the market, which means you can go long or short thinking it's going up or down, or you can buy and sell with no spot fees. That's Mexi and or Bitga, and that's in the video description below and or pinned comments. And then if you want to show me personal support, there's a way to do it via Cash App. You can send XRP or you can join Tom's Army, which is the greatest gift of all. And then you'll be entitled to the telegram. And that's the only way you can get it. And then, obviously, if you got anything out of this update, hit that subscribe button. Join the almost 16,200 subscribers. We're 8 away from 16,200. And then make sure you hit that motherfucking like button. As it really does help push me through the analytics. And it really can help hit me a new target audience. It really is up to you to help share this far and wide on social media. And then to also hit that like button. If you do like what you see, make sure to hit that bell notification to all. So that you can catch my next update in a timely fashion. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag fought assassins. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what the hell is the point on this journey in crypto? The whole point of us here together and the whole point of me doing this each and every day is I believe every single morning, regardless of if I have time to do 10 updates a day, every single morning when I first get up, the very first thing I do for the last two years plus is come here, update everybody, because I believe no matter the size of your wallet, you should be able to stay in front of the markets, especially crypto, but also all financial markets. That's why I tell you a lot about gold and silver. I'll give you the updates on the stock market and yada, yada, yada. So make sure you hit that motherfucking like button, and I'll catch you on a future update.